Hey everybody, this is Crispin with Motion Capture Online and Modus Digital. Uh, wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on with us at Motion Capture Online and uh, main announcement of this video is uh, with the Unreal Engine. We've been working on uh, blueprints, uh, blueprint controllers uh, for the zombie and mobility which will uh, trickle down to the rest of the packs. Yeah, and uh, the UE4 community this past year, UE4 has been uh, our biggest growth, really. You guys are very vocal and have been talking to us uh, on the forum, and uh, we've been learning a lot, and we ran into Jesse, which actually is the guy doing the uh, controllers for us. So, uh, yeah, it's been a great year. We appreciate uh, you guys uh, seem to like our stuff more. We're always trying to make it better. Um and we will be come, uh, we'll be going to the GDC uh, this year. Uh, we're looking forward to checking out all the new tech, uh, talking with developers, as well as hang out with some old friends, make some new ones. Uh, if you see a mocap online jacket or shirt, that's uh, got to be one of us. It's either going to be me, uh, Kyle, or Tony. So uh, please say hi. We'd love to chat with you and, you know, whatever. Uh, it'd be great to uh, meet you guys. Um, let's see, as I said before, the main announcement for this video is the blueprint character controllers for zombie and mobility. And uh, what I've had on screen this whole time is, uh, to entice you, hopefully, uh, some people probably know what it is already, uh, is uh, one of the animations, the new IPC animations, which stands for In Place Custom, for custom attributes, that we came up with, uh, with Jesse after, uh, looking at the, uh, the conversations, uh, the epic conversations with Paragon, uh, the Paragon team talking about how they were doing uh, their animation system. And I saw, looked and saw they were using custom attributes for uh, proximity to the ground as well as jaw rotation and speed and things like that and said, aha, that's the way to do in place. So uh, I figured out how I could bake those things out from the root motion. Uh, and put them into the in place and Jesse's been helping uh, implement them. Uh, by the way, I'm talking about uh, Jesse at 3 Prong Gaming. Uh, great guy, does a lot of tutorials over there. Uh, he contacted us uh, quite a while ago about uh, wondering about a discount maybe for using our animations for his tutorials. Uh, we really dug talking to him and liked his stuff so uh, we said, hey, how about we, uh, we give you full access to all our library animations and you make us some cool controllers, and uh, there you go. So, uh, so he's been helping us out uh, making controllers, um, and also you know weeding out, looking at animations, and helping beta test things, and telling us what could be better. So, it's an ongoing process. Uh, real quick, looking at our getting into the controllers himself, our zombie friend here. Uh, that is, he's on fire, but he's also kind of turning around and backing up and all sorts of stuff. The capsule is rotating uh, and you know he's doing that in place. All this kind of stuff would be near impossible to do correctly without any foot sliding unless you had you know all these different uh, channels that, that would give you a frame-by-frame -frame notion of what direction he's turning, how quickly he's moving in any direction. This has lateral velocity as well as forward velocity which is forwards and backwards. Uh, these are more channels than are going to be in the mobility, this was kind of an initial thing, but we still thought uh, we ended up, we're going to ship this because it is very interesting. A lot of stuff for people to experiment with, and it is the exact same animations that are in the current zombie packs uh, with all this added stuff in a controller, so why not? Uh, it will be version 4.14, the Unreal Engine, but as with every single one of our packs for Unreal, the FBX source animations are included. Um, so that way you can, even though the project is a 4.14 project, the animations themselves that you're purchasing with it uh, can be loaded as FBX onto the SK Mannequin uh, into any project as far back as 4.8. Um, so let's take a quick look at, that's the IPC version of On Fire 2B. Let's look at the, all right, so there's On Fire 2B where you can see the root motion. And obviously he's turning around and moving a lot of crazy ways and if that was handed to you as an in place with the root motion frozen there'd be no good way to stabilize that because you wouldn't have enough information to guess all that random nonlinear motion and rotation but that's why um, we came up with the, the IPC versions and that, uh, that cures that, uh, that problem. 
uh, potentially if you program it right. Uh, I don't believe this this motion is not in the controller, but all the data is there to actually extract. And uh, Jesse was able to use these uh, these attributes uh, so that you know when he walks and staggers forward, you know he sort of staggers left and right and walks forward at nonlinear at a nonlinear pace and rotates around. Uh, that the feet are stable on the ground because he's got frame by frame uh, velocity description, uh, both forward and lateral, as well as uh, rotational. Uh, so let's just go and take a look at the, the little playable demo. Uh, in fact, uh, really, he was starting to do it as an AI, which I think he was going to, he may still do a tutorial, but we figured for um, a shipping demo, whatever, with it that people might appreciate more just a regular uh, first person controller. I'm using the keyboard right now. Um, he can uh, attack. He's got the attacks working. Well, we can change all the different attacks one through eight that we have. I'll just cycle through them. So overhand, crazy overhand, random sweeping overhand. It's more crazy. So simple to crazy. Uh, so he can walk. And you can see he's staggering left and right as well as staggering forward. And yet there is no foot sliding, and this is an in-place motion. So he's using all those curves uh, in that way. Uh, let's see, I can make him go into a generic chase, then he goes into the hyper chase. He can attack at the same time. Then he stops. If you turn, he'll 90 degrees, he'll turn. It looks like the mummy. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, uh, there's notes for all this stuff. Uh, it's a freebie. It's thrown in with the pack. There'll be, you know, anybody who already has the pack gets this for free as an update. Uh, there's a basic version as well as a, uh, a pro version, which has more uh, animations in it. And it works with the uh, a game pad as well. Um, let's take a look at the mobility controller really quick. Let's see, I'll use the gamepad for this one. This only has a basic set in it. There aren't back 45s. There's only one set of jumps I did as a test as uh, splitting the jumps up. Anybody that has our packs now, we don't, uh, at the moment, we don't have split jumps where it's, you know, a start animation, an in air loop, and uh, then a landing. So I've been working on that with Jesse where that's going to be added. <clears throat> and we can have him uh, walk and jog around a bit. Okay, he's got one jump at different one at each speed walking and there's one at jogging and he can even haul butt so there's some transitions in and stuff so that's all it's really doing right now Anyway, it's a work in progress. We thought we'd show you something versus nothing. Uh, we're hoping, uh, with talk with Jesse, we thought that we'd uh, try our darndest to get something uh, by GDC that's basically using as many motions as possible as a, uh, a playable beta uh, that people that already have the uh, the pack could, uh, could download and play with. That's the idea. Um, you know, so fingers crossed on that one. That's what we're going to try to do. Whatever state it's in... Uh, because it's going to be a work in progress for a while. And the idea is that uh, whenever we get all the bugs worked out of this and figure out how we want to work all the jumps and uh, put this all together, that this technology uh, we're using with these blueprints will trickle down into all the other packs, into rifle, uh, pistol, even ninja. That's going to be a crazy one. That'll be different. So, yeah, so the idea is uh, to eventually uh, use what we learn with this one and so that every every series has a controller with it. Uh, those of you that haven't, uh, go ahead and check out uh, MoCap Online. That's so our store. We, of course, we have stuff in the marketplace. We do have, for most everything, we have Pro, Basic, and Starter on our store, but we've only got the Zombie, I believe, on UE4 uh, Marketplace that has those three levels. Um, uh, right now, uh, we do need to make more submissions for different SKUs on there. Uh, but we have all the different, uh, we've, even a lot, architectural has been actually uh, growing. A lot of people are getting architectural. 
uh, stuff and I'm enjoying those. Uh, the death packs are new. Uh, these different crowd animations, stadium, uh, desk animations, meeting animations. Uh, you can see we have all different formats. Bit Cry, Cry is on the way. Working on it. Uh, Unity, FBX, generic, and UE4. Well, that's about it for now. Uh, I know we covered a lot of stuff, so thanks for watching. And we'll catch you later with uh, more updates. Uh, take care.